this morning on the first day of early voting. First of all, we are here to dramatize the fight that we've been in for more than three years to hold on to early voting, same day registration, and to nullify the unconstitutional uh, uh, race, race driven photo ID. You didn't have all this talk about fraud until all of a sudden African Americans and Latinos right. began to vote in record numbers. Come on now. Those of us who have in our history the experience of true fraudulent, right. they, we never question the American democracy. These are unique times. North Carolina is right in the center of the national debate and can literally determine who will sit in the White House. Hi, my name is Kevin Crawford. I'm out here on behalf of the NAACP and the Central Chapter, and we're here to get out the vote. Good morning. My name is Brian Dawson from K97.5 on behalf of Radio One Raleigh. We are committed not to tell you who to vote for, but for you to exercise your right because your vote matters. This is your primary franchise. This is what sets us apart from all other nations in the world. This opportunity for each and every American to be able to vote. Oh, I'm gonna let racist politics turn me around. I'm gonna keep on walking, keep on talking, marching up the cats of See, I have a lot of good memories here in North Carolina. I spent a lot of time here on North Carolina Central's campus. Doesn't matter who you are, doesn't matter what you do, it doesn't matter where you're from, but you have to do everything possible to make sure your voice can be heard. You. Now, we have to show here in Durham and in the state of North Carolina that Hillary Clinton has our voice. So now I gotta talk about Tim Kaine, who is from my hometown state of Virginia. It is an honor and a privilege to have met Tim Kaine, and I mean to have a warm Eagle Pride welcome to the next Vice President, Mr. Tim Kaine. Okay, well, let me get to the punchline. North Carolina, you guys are a checkmate state. Checkmate state, more than a battleground. You're a checkmate state. If we can win North Carolina for Hillary Clinton, we're going to win the whole thing. We're going to win the whole thing. We're going to invest in you, our workforce, pre-K education, celebrating great teachers, debt-free college, even free college for families that make less than one hundred twenty-five thousand dollars a year. And then this HB two has now kind of become a national cause that has brought the wrong kind of attention to North Carolina because you are not a place where bigotry is okay. North Carolina values are progressive values. When you say about our president that he wasn't a U.S. citizen in Richmond, it reminds us of the most painful chapter in the life of our country because if you were of African descent, what the Dred Scott decision has said about you is that even if you were born here and born free, you could never be an American citizen, nor could your children, nor could your grandchildren. We had to fight a civil war and change the Constitution so that African Americans could be citizens of this country. You will have a big victory in North Carolina. You will elect Hillary Clinton President of the United States. You will make history in a history-making election, and then we'll go to work doing the things to make us stronger together. Thanks, North Carolina. Thanks, I feel like the media is really focusing on the flaws, like the personal flaws of the candidate instead of uh, focusing on like the actual issues at hand. I think this is very important that we're there, we're voting and we're here. It shows them that um, our ancestors, that they matter and they didn't fight for you. They didn't fight just to fight. Okay. All right, my name is Lyndon Bass, and this is also my first time voting. Um, I think it's very important for everybody to come out and vote, especially, you know, uh, with this election specifically. And um, I'm just glad I had the opportunity to be a, uh, a part of history. This election is important to me because there's so many different factors that's going to play a role um, and make a difference after, after November 8th. Um, I think that it's important to note the amount of... Um, 
black young voters um, that are out here that are creating the, the that are changing the demographics of politics and also um, the values of the institution of this country. Make sure y'all vote. Get out out vote. vote. You know what I'm saying? Now. Black votes matter. Right now. Vote right now. now. Vote now. Right 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 now. Right